All right, let's dive in. Today we're tackling how to build an eBay business totally from scratch. Cool. To help us out, we have a, an expert eBay seller here with, well, years of experience to share all their secrets. Yeah, happy to be here. I remember when I was first starting out, it felt like a whole new language. Right. But once you understand the basics, it's really quite manageable. Yeah. Even, even fun sometimes. So I'm ready to learn that language. Okay. We've got a ton of notes and research here, so let's jump right in. Let's do it. First things first, setting up an eBay account. Mm -hmm. Seems pretty straightforward, right? Yeah, absolutely. One of the best things about eBay is how easy it is to get started. Right. Create an account for free, and you don't even need a separate PayPal anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. eBay handles all the payments now, which makes things so much smoother. That's fantastic. Yeah. But I did read something about seller limits for new accounts. Yeah. What's the deal with that? Right. So when you're first starting out, eBay kind of limits you to selling around 10 items or $500 worth of merchandise per month. Okay. It's their way of making sure new sellers are providing quality products and service before they can, you know, really scale up. So it's like a trial period. Yeah. Makes sense. Like. Yeah. But it also sounds like it could be a bit limiting if you're really eager to get things going. It can be, but I actually see it as a positive thing. Really? Yeah, it forces you to be strategic about what you sell early on. Okay. My advice, focus on selling a few higher quality items that have like a higher average sale price. Oh, okay. Rather than just like a ton of lower priced things. So think quality over quantity. Yeah, good. In those early days. Yeah. Now let's talk organization. Okay. I imagine keeping track of inventory can get overwhelming fast. It can. What's your system? When I first started, I tried using spreadsheets. Okay. But honestly, a simple system of numbered tubs works best for me. Right. Every item gets its own tub with a corresponding number. Right. And that number goes in the listing details. Oh, okay. So when an order comes in, I know exactly where to find it. So simple, visual, effective. I like that. Yeah, it keeps me sane. Now let's get to the heart of the matter, choosing what to sell. Okay. I imagine that's where things can get a little tricky. It can be. What are your secrets for finding those eBay gold mines? The most important thing is to sell items people actually want to buy. Right. It sounds obvious, but you'd be surprised how many sellers overlook this very basic principle. Yeah. My go-to trick for figuring out what's hot is using eBay's sell-through rate. Okay. That sounds intriguing. Tell us more about this sell-through rate. Yeah. And how we can use it to our advantage. The sell-through rate is essentially the percentage of a specific item that is selling on eBay. Okay. It gives you a sense of how quickly something is moving. Right. Which is a great indicator of demand. Mm. So to find it, just filter your eBay search to show sold listings. Okay. And if you're seeing lots of recent sales, that's a pretty good sign. The products in demand. So it's like market research. Exactly. Pull right into the platform. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Now, before we go any further, I want to take a quick moment to mention something that might help you on your eBay journey. Sure. Make sure you visit BrianGarbin.com. That's Brian with an I. And get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Wow. Over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Okay. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. Great. The link for this is in Brian's YouTube bio. Awesome. Okay, so we've got this handy tool, the sell-through rate, to help us figure out what's selling well. Yes. But what about when you're first starting out and dealing with those seller limits? Right. We talked about before, mm -hmm. what do we do? In the beginning, I recommend sticking with smaller, lightweight items. All right that are easy and inexpensive to ship. Right. It's all about minimizing risk and maximizing those early sales. Right. You want to build positive feedback and momentum. Yeah. Once you've established a good track record and your selling limits increase, then you can start branching out. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Starting small and then scaling up as you gain experience. Mm -hmm. It's all about those stepping stones. Exactly. Now, I've got to ask, do you have any particularly memorable stories from your early eBay days? Yeah. Any amazing finds or surprising successes? Oh, definitely. I once found a pair of designer shoes at a thrift store for $30. Wow. I did some research. Yeah. Saw they were selling for over $150 on eBay. Really? And sure enough, I sold them within a week. Wow. That's the beauty of eBay. You right. never know what treasures you might find. That's incredible. So it really can be a treasure hunt with real profit potential. Absolutely. Speaking of profit, let's talk about the different listing options. Okay. Options versus buy it. Mm -hmm. Now, what are the pros and cons of each? 
Auctions can be exciting and generate a lot of buzz, right, especially yeah. if you have a unique or rare item. They can also help you gauge market value as bidders determine the price. Right. However, auctions can be a bit unpredictable. Right. You might end up selling an item for less than you hoped, especially if you don't get enough bidders. So with auctions, there's always that element of risk and reward. Yeah, for sure. What about buy it? Yeah. Now I find myself using that option a lot as a buyer. Buy it now is my preferred method for most items, especially if I'm confident in the pricing. Okay. It allows you to set a firm price and often leads to quicker sales. Right. Plus, buyers appreciate knowing exactly what they're paying without the uncertainty of an auction. Okay, so buy it now offers more control and predictability. Yeah, exactly. Now, I've heard whispers of a secret eBay strategy called the sell similar trick. Uh -huh. Can you enlighten us? Ah, uh, yes, the sell similar trick. Yeah. This is a fantastic way to save time and leverage the success of other sellers. Oh, yeah. Instead of creating a listing from scratch, right. you can find a similar item that is already sold Okay. and use eBay's sell similar option. Interesting. It fills in a lot of the information for you. Really? And it can also help your listing get more visibility in search results. Oh, wow. It's a huge time saver and can really boost your chances of making a sale. That's genius. It's like tapping into the collective wisdom of the eBay community. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's talk about making our listings stand out. Okay. Clearly, photos are crucial. Oh, for sure. But any tips for capturing those eye-catching shots? High-quality photos are non-negotiable. Yeah. I aim for at least six photos per item, okay. showcasing different angles and any unique details. Six photos, got it. Yeah. What about using our smartphones for photos? Oh, Is yeah. that good enough or do we need like fancy equipment? Smartphone cameras are perfectly fine these days. Good. The key is good lighting and a clean background. Right. Natural light is best, but you can also use a simple lamp or a light box for those indoor shots. Okay, so no need to break the bank on fancy equipment. No, not at all. It's all about those simple, effective techniques. Now, before we get into the nitty-gritty of pricing and shipping, let's take a quick detour to another valuable resource that can help you on your journey to becoming an online selling superstar. Okay. Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com, that's Brian with an I, and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. All right. Over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Wow. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. Awesome. The link for this is in Brian's YouTube bio. Great. Now back to eBay. All right. Let's talk pricing. Uh -huh. I imagine it's a delicate balance between being competitive and ensuring you make a decent profit. It is. How do we find that sweet spot? Finding the right price is definitely key to success on eBay. Yeah. It takes a bit of research, but it's worth the effort. Mm -hmm. The good news is eBay makes it easy to see what similar items have sold for recently. So we don't have to guess? No, not at all. Awesome. Where do we find that information? Right in the search results. Oh, okay. Just filter your search to show sold listings. Gotcha. This gives you a realistic view of the market value. Okay. Don't get tempted to sort by highest price, though. Right. Those outliers can be misleading. Right. Oh. Focus on the average selling price to get a more accurate picture. That's a great tip. Mm. It's easy to get carried away by those high prices. Yeah. But sticking to the average makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it does. So once we've done our research, any other pricing strategies we should keep in mind? As a new seller, pricing competitively is a smart move. Okay. It can help you attract buyers, mm. build positive feedback, right. and increase your sales volume. Yeah. You'll establish a good reputation and gain momentum, which can lead to higher selling limits down the road. Makes sense. Build trust, get those sales rolling, and then gradually increase prices as you gain experience and positive feedback. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's move on to shipping. I'll admit, this is the part that always intimidates me a bit. Yeah. Any advice for making it less daunting? Shipping doesn't have to be a headache. Good. My number one tip is to buy postage through eBay's shipping platform. Okay. You'll get discounted rates, and you can print labels right from your computer. Oh, wow. It's way more convenient and cost-effective than going to the post office. So skip the post office lines. Yes. And save money in the process. Exactly. Got it. What about packing materials? Yeah. Are there ways to save on those costs too? Absolutely. Reusing boxes is a great way to be both eco-friendly and budget conscious. Love it. Ask local businesses if they have any spare boxes or packing materials they're willing to give away. Okay. You'd be surprised how often people are happy to get rid of that stuff. Okay, I love that reduce, reuse, recycle. Yeah. And save some money while we're at it. Exactly. 
So we've covered listing pricing and shipping. What about sourcing those items to sell? Yeah. I imagine that's a whole adventure in itself. Sourcing is my favorite part. Right. It's like a treasure hunt. Yep. Garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales. Right. Even online marketplaces can be gold mines. You never know what you're going to find. I can see how that would be addictive. It is. Do you have any favorite hunting grounds? I do. Or secret strategies for finding those hidden gems? I love browsing estate sales. Okay. Websites like estatesales.net and auctionzip.com are great resources for finding upcoming events in your area. Oh, wow. You can often get a preview of the items online beforehand and make a plan of attack. So it's a mix of online research and good old-fashioned treasure hunting. Yeah, exactly. That sounds like fun. It is. But I imagine it takes a keen eye to spot those profitable items amidst all the clutter. It does. Any tips for developing that eBay sixth sense? Experience is the best teacher. Okay. But there are a few things to keep in mind. Right. First, research is key. Yeah. Know your brands, understand what's in demand, and be able to quickly assess the condition of an item. Okay. Second, don't be afraid to walk away. Right. If you have any doubts about an item's authenticity condition or potential profit, it's better to pass. Solid advice. Mm -hmm. It's all about being discerning and not letting those impulse buys cloud our judgment. Exactly. Now let's shift gears a bit and talk about feedback. Okay. We all know how important positive feedback is for building trust and attracting buyers. Right. Any tips for ensuring those five-star reviews? Clear, honest descriptions and accurate photos are essential. Okay. You want to manage buyers' expectations from the get-go. Mm -hmm. Speedy shipping is also crucial. Yeah. Aim to ship items within one business day to avoid any delays and keep buyers happy. So it's all about transparency and efficiency. Yeah. Makes sense. But what about those times when things don't go as planned? Mm-hmm. What if a buyer isn't satisfied or there's an issue with an order? Don't panic. Okay. The key is to communicate clearly and professionally, right. respond to messages, promptly acknowledge any concerns, and try to find a solution that works for both parties. Okay. A little bit of empathy goes a long way. Okay. So those customer service skills really come into play here. Yeah, for sure. Turn that exactly. frown upside down. Mm -hmm. Now, before we dive into the advanced strategies that can really take your eBay business to the next level. Okay. Let's make a quick detour to a resource that can help you supercharge your online selling journey. All right. Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com, that's Brian with an I, and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Awesome. Over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Wow. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. Sounds good. The link for this is in Brian's YouTube bio. Great. Now back to those eBay secrets. All right. So we know new accounts have those initial selling limits. Yes. How do we break free from those constraints and unleash our full eBay potential? As you build a solid track record of positive feedback and successful transactions, yep. eBay will gradually increase your selling limits. Okay. It's a process, but it's worth the effort. Right. Consistency is key. The more you sell, the more you'll be able to sell. So it's all about proving ourselves trustworthy and reliable. Exactly. Right. And there are a few things you can do to speed up the process. Oh. Make sure you're shipping items promptly. Right. Providing tracking information. Okay. And responding to customer inquiries quickly and professionally. Basically, be the eBay seller you'd want to buy from. Yeah, exactly. Now, we briefly touched on the idea of niching down earlier. Yeah. Why is specialization so important for eBay success? Niching down allows you to become a true expert in a particular category. Okay. You'll gain a deep understanding of the products, mm -hmm. pricing trends, and customer demands. Right. It also makes sourcing more efficient. Okay. You'll develop an eye for those hidden gems others might miss. So instead of trying to be a jack of all trades, we should aim to be the master of one. Precisely. Right. It allows you to build a strong reputation. Yeah. Attract a loyal customer base and potentially command higher prices. And I bet it makes those sourcing trips a whole lot more fun. Oh, yeah, for sure. You're no longer sifting through mountains of random items. You're on a mission to find those specific treasures that fit your niche. Exactly. Okay, before we wrap up part one. Hmm. Let's take a moment to recap some of those key takeaways from today's discussion. Sounds like a plan. Let's highlight those nuggets of eBay wisdom. First up, honesty is crucial. Yeah. Be transparent about the condition of your items. Mm. Manage those buyer expectations. And remember, a satisfied customer is a repeat customer. Absolutely. And when it comes to negative feedback, don't fret. Yeah. Address those issues calmly and professionally. Right. Turning those customer service hiccups into opportunities to showcase your commitment to excellence. For sure. 
Then there's the all-important topic of breaking free from those initial selling limits. Yes. Consistency is key. Mm -hmm. Focus on delivering positive experiences. Right. Shipping promptly, providing tracking information, and responding to inquiries quickly. Yep. Build that trust with eBay and watch those selling limits soar. They will. And finally, remember the power of specialization. Blah. Find your niche. Become an expert and watch your eBay business thrive. It will. We'll be back soon with part two, where we'll explore even more advanced strategies for eBay domination. Stay tuned. Until then, happy listing. Yeah, happy selling, everybody. Welcome back to our eBay deep dive. All right, let's get back to it. We're getting into the real nitty gritty here. Yeah. And I'm excited to learn more of your expert strategies. We know eBay's been my bread and butter for so long. Yeah. I picked up a few tricks along the way. So last time we were talking about handling those tricky customer service situations. Right, right. But now I want to kind of shift gears a bit and talk about scaling up. Okay, yeah. We know new accounts have those initial selling limits. Mm -hmm. How do we break free from those constraints and unleash our full eBay potential? Well, as you build a solid track record of positive feedback and successful transactions, okay. eBay will gradually increase your selling limits. Okay. It's a process, Yeah. but it's worth the effort. Consistency is key. The more you sell, the more you'll be able to sell. So it's all about proving ourselves trustworthy and reliable. Exactly. Right. And there are a few things you can do to speed up the process. Oh, okay. Like what? Make sure you're shipping items promptly. Right. Providing tracking information I mean, and responding to customer inquiries quickly and professionally. Okay. Basically, be the eBay seller you'd want to buy from. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. Now, we briefly touched on the idea of niching down earlier. Mm -hmm. Why is specialization so important for eBay success? Niching down allows you to become a true expert in a particular category. Okay. You'll gain a deep understanding of the products, mm -hmm. pricing trends, and customer demands. Right. It also makes sourcing more efficient. Uh -huh. You'll develop an eye for those hidden gems others might miss. So instead of trying to be a jack of all trades, we should aim to be the master of one. Precisely. Right. It allows you to build a strong reputation, yeah. attract a loyal customer base, and potentially command higher prices. And I bet it makes those sourcing trips a whole lot more fun. Oh, yeah, for sure. You're no longer sifting through mountains of random items. Uh -huh. You're on a mission to find those specific treasures that fit your niche. Exactly. Okay, before we wrap up part two. Okay. Let's take a moment to recap some of those key takeaways from today's discussion. Sounds like a plan. Let's highlight those nuggets of eBay wisdom. Okay. First up, honesty is crucial. Uh huh. Be transparent about the condition of your items. Mm -hmm. Manage those buyer expectations. Right. And remember, a satisfied customer is a repeat customer. Absolutely. And when it comes to negative feedback, don't fret. Yeah. Address those issues calmly and professionally. Right. Turning those customer service hiccups into opportunities to showcase your commitment to excellence. Yeah, for sure. Then there's the all-important topic of breaking free from those initial selling limits. Mm -hmm. Consistency is key. Yes. Focus on delivering positive experiences. Right. Shipping promptly. Yep. Providing tracking information and responding to inquiries quickly. Yes. Build that trust with eBay and watch those selling limits soar. Exactly. And finally, remember the power of specialization. Yes. Find your niche, become an expert, and watch your eBay business thrive. It will. We'll be back soon with part three, where we'll explore even more advanced strategies for eBay domination. Sounds good, looking forward to it. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the final part of our eBay deep dive. Here we are. We've covered a lot of ground. Yeah, we have. From setting up your account to sourcing like a pro. Mm -hmm. But now it's time for the secret sauce. <laughs> okay. Those advanced tactics right. that can really set your eBay business apart. Yeah, absolutely. These are the strategies that can really uh, help you take your sales to the next level. Okay. And make eBay like a really sustainable source of income. Okay, I'm all ears. What are these eBay ninja moves we need to master? One often overlooked strategy is timing. Okay. You might be surprised how much of a difference it makes when you list your items. Really? So there's more to it than just hitting that list button whenever we have something ready to sell. Definitely think about when your target audience is most likely to be browsing eBay. Right. For example, if you're selling items that appeal to busy professionals, yeah. evenings and weekends might be prime time. Okay, it's like we're tapping into the rhythms of their lives. Exactly. So strategic timing is key. Yeah. What else? Pay attention to seasonal trends. Okay. If you're selling winter coats, 
listing them in the fall will likely yield better results than listing them in the middle of summer. Right. Makes perfect sense. Right. It's all about anticipating those buyer needs and getting ahead of the curve. Mm -hmm. What about those times when we have an item that's just not selling? Yeah. Any tips for giving those listings a little boost? Absolutely. Don't be afraid to relist an item if it's not getting any traction. Okay. Sometimes a fresh start with a slightly adjusted title or description can make all the difference. So it's not a set it and forget it kind of platform. No, no, no. We need to be actively managing our listings and making tweaks as needed. Yeah, exactly. And here's another pro tip. Okay. Leverage eBay's promotional tools. Okay. Sales and discounts yeah. can attract attention and create a sense of urgency. Ooh, I love a good sale. Who doesn't? So what's the strategy behind using those effectively? Don't discount everything all the time. Okay. Use them strategically. Right. Create limited time offers. Gotcha. Or run special promotions around holidays or seasonal events. So it's all about creating that fear of missing out factor. Yeah, exactly. Clever. Okay, we've talked a lot about the nuts and bolts of selling on eBay. Mm. But what about the mindset? Yeah. What separates those who truly succeed on eBay from those who struggle? I'd say it's a combination of perseverance, adaptability, and a willingness to constantly learn and evolve. Right. Building a successful eBay business takes time and effort. Sure. And you're bound to encounter challenges along the way. It's about embracing those challenges as opportunities for growth, right? Exactly. View every mistake as a learning experience. Go the more you learn, the more confident and successful you'll become. Right. And remember, you don't have to do this alone. That's true. There's an incredible community of eBay sellers out there who are happy to share their knowledge and support each other. That's a great point. Connecting with other sellers can provide invaluable insights, yeah. motivation, and a sense of camaraderie. For sure. Don't underestimate the power of community. Absolutely. And speaking of valuable resources, let's take a moment to mention one that can provide incredible guidance as you navigate the world of online selling. Sounds good. Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com, that's Brian with an I, and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Wow. Over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Okay. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. Right. The link for this is in Brian's YouTube bio. Great. It's an amazing resource that can help you on your journey to becoming a successful online entrepreneur. Yeah, sounds like it. So as we wrap up this eBay deep dive, okay. I just want to encourage you to approach it with a sense of adventure and curiosity. Yeah. Don't be afraid to experiment, mm -hmm. learn from your mistakes, right. and most importantly, have fun. Absolutely. It's a journey of discovery. Yeah. And who knows, mm -hmm. you might just uncover a hidden passion for buying and selling yeah. that you never knew you had. You never know. So to all our aspiring eBay entrepreneurs out there, Go forth, list those items, and build those thriving businesses. That's right. We're all cheering you on. That's a wrap on our eBay extravaganza. That's it. We hope you've enjoyed the deep dive mm -hmm. and are feeling inspired to launch those eBay dreams. Yeah, go get them. Happy listing. Happy selling, everybody.